Hello and welcome back to Timberborn. So, we have got so much to talk about. Not only have I moved rooms, we've uh, set up a fish tank today and we've done lots and lots of stuff on this stinking map that I'm going to show you. So, you can probably tell. We'll keep the game paused for now. Um, we're starting to set up a lock system. So the water, literally it's all three tiles deep, so it runs in there, runs in there. We've set up this tire reservoir that comes all the way down this river. It feeds into this, which we are going to block off eventually, and then we'll do some more farming in there. But for the time being, for the farming, for the aquatic stuff, we put over here. We've uh, we've dammed the bottom there, we've put some in there and there, and everything is good. We've obviously got the farms and stuff. And as you can see by this, we've got rid of the bot producing production thing so yeah that's gone where's it gone you might ask and it's gone down here so we're nothing special we're not repeating it because we needed just as many as we could get so we put it down there we've got four assemblers three on each side doing the thing because three uh, basically one can supply two assemblers so three of each uh, sorry two of each factory allows us to provide uh, enough for four assemblers uh, as well as the two there and then we've got this mega project getting done here this mega project if we go on there is going to be for the battery storage uh, so yeah that's for batteries and then that should never stop hopefully uh, yeah that's that's batteries uh, and then we've got obviously biofuel getting made down here as well we've got absolute tons of it which is great we've got some catalyst starting to get made as well which helps the bots even more uh, this might have a catalyst. There you go. It gives us a plus one for there. So we're now at 90% construction speed or working speed. And then 60% movement, which is absolutely great. Um, so yeah, we're getting that done. We've got three refineries for that. The reason we got them in this zone is because they require some flower seeds and maple syrup, which we have in this zone. We are running low on maple syrup, though. So we've expanded our trees by three tiles. So these three that are growing are going to get maple syrup shortly put our temples in front of the mega super mega temple thing absolutely glorious looks amazing uh, kind of want to move all them but never mind they look still looks amazing but yeah water we are going to start we are starting to lock it uh, we are expanding it out into this area it's going to be another lock there and then we are blowing all of this up because this is going to be one giant lock um or reservoir or whatever you want to call it and then i've got ideas for over here to like go up in the sky and then tear it down a bit like a waterfall and stuff like that but we'll, we'll get there we'll get, we'll get there yeah we planted our own trees over here as well we've got the far main forest over there still main trees over here let's get the game running now in the background because there's lots of things that can be getting done uh and then yeah that's pretty much the this uh, we need to still deal with this side of the map uh, the problem is down here um is if we dam down here the water will obviously back up and then it will actually flood all of our area here so i kind of don't want to dam it i'll just let it sort of um, run off the map which is fine and uh, we could alternatively run the water and route it somewhere else and store it in a giant reservoir or something else down here maybe i don't know and then obviously we've got this part of the map, which we've got obviously pretty green. But again, we need to get a small dam at the end just to keep it green for a longer period of time. Uh, but then we've got this cut through sort of canal now, I guess. That's what you class it as, a canal. So that's a cut through ready for this area down here, which we are going to get to eventually. We should be able to reach this area quite nicely with this. So my plan is to get over there uh, we've got a natural dam there so that we can get rid of this dam that'll come down which is fine and these bots have got nothing to do so let's let's get started so if we get a path in the straightest one we can go for so get a path in there like so then we're going to want a single platform a steer and some steer and then we'll get rid of that that let's just get rid of all of them they can stand on them so it's not really a big issue 
I wonder. Uh, yeah, well, we should be fine. We should be fine. I hope they get reach. So yeah, get that in there. And then what we want to do, which they've already got so much to do, uh, we want to basically fill all this in. If we can get to it, thank you very much. And oh God, no! Don't be stupid. D no, thank you. Okay, get all that filled in once again. Oh no! 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 And last but not least, okay. So that's all now. One tile. So the idea behind this is. We can port, uh, where are they, food? We can port the aquatic farms on some, obviously, we'll make some stangons for them or something. Uh, and then they ha will have access to all of this area to plant as many lilies and dock pads or whatever we want to call them again. Uh, as they are catalogue roots and spider docks, it's possible. Um, they can uh, plant them all in this area and then we're going to dam that bit there and then with that being dammed so what we're going to do is if we add a path up there as far as it goes and then if we add a path there as far as it goes as far as it goes thank you very much i wonder uh ideally we want to do that because that's the shortest route technically because uh, technically the way it works is just strange um, and then we want to add in a dam. We want to add the dam in right there. If possible. Please, I'm hoping once that bit's done, we can reach over there. And then we can add that dam in. Okay. Uh, that is a useless area now because no water is ever going to flow down there. But we can add that in. We can then uh, rescape the land so that it suits our needs. Ah, oh, someone died. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. We can't. He probably just died of lack of maintenance. Uh, we still. Oh, I forgot six. Right. What we're going to have to do is put them in in a bit. Right, for the time being, just don't, don't do any of them. Okay, path. We need the path running along there. Okay, now build the rest of this, please. Thank you very much. Ugh, for God's sakes. Power's out as well. I'm thinking as well, since we did this, and don't don't shout at me, but I did it slightly off. Slightly off center. It's, it's not quite even, but... It's not quite even, but we'll, we'll, we'll just ignore that, shall we? Um, so my plan is, <clears throat> I might start, I might fill all of this in and then like tear it as well because we've got um, shafts running in here and we could, I don't know how we're exactly going to link it all together. We could just have two running down and then they'll just meet at the bottom and then they'll just join. Um, but we could put the windmills inside this section, like in tiers, like going up. Um, that could be a valuable use of space. <laughs> Um, we also have these two blow up because we want to make it one tile deeper as well. So we're just waiting for this all to be done and then we can blow all of that together. Then it'll be one tile deep and then this should be absolutely perfect. Uh, I think we are sending Callus down to here. Yeah, we are. We're storing some. So these should be working pretty darn fast. Maple syrup, yeah, that's definitely going down quite substantially, so that needs definitely sorting. Uh, spider dock, we, well, the, the, these things, the, uh, yeah, spider dock things. Uh, we need more of these. I don't think we've got any. Yeah, we, we are grilling some. Uh, where is the storage? So we've got spider dock in storage. We should be grilling it as of when we get beavers. And then we get grilled spider dock. Um, yeah, so we should... We just have to wait for beer birds. We're, we're low on some beavers, but we can technically, we could technically get the beavers to work harder. 
we could do this. And then we could go. And uh, no, have, have we got biofuel? We do. Are we sending biofuel though? Um, where is your things? Nope. No. Okay, we're not sending biofuel. Okay, go back to Beaver. I don't want to mess around with sending biofuel over there as well. It's a bit of a ball, like, in being honest. Uh, get that down. Get you across there as well. Are you done? You are. Boom. Blow that up. Get rid of them stairs. Like so. And blow the top off. So we're going to get this down. We're going to blow that up as well. Going to get that down. And as you can see, we've lined this up perfectly with this path. We're going to go all the way up here. Like this. Like so. This is all going to be level. To the right height. Uh, which the right height, I believe, is... Yes, this height here all the way around. So it needs to be all the way there. Then this bit needs to get blown up as well eventually. But for the time being, it'll be fine. And then... I think the first reservoir is going to run along this path anyway. So it's going to be basically this all the way along. Uh, and then um, probably just do it to this wall. And then that'll be one reservoir, which technically feeds two. Uh, it's going to feed this gate here and it's going to feed this gate down here. Um, but this gate never opens anymore uh, because we don't need to. So, yeah. We don't need that open ever again. Um, but for the time being, these are all, I believe, that's open, that's open. But this is closed, I believe. Oh, uh, no, that is open. So if it does overflow, it, you'll be able to see it running. Um, Yeah, everything's going pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, we're getting this hill, top, whatever you want to class it as. That's going to get blown down. So it's at least level. With the land here. And then obviously this section. Or that one tile should I say. That one tile will be blown all the way down. To this reservoir level. Um, but yeah there's so much to do. So much to do. Uh, we've got 14 beaver jobs. Ready to go. But we're waiting on beavers. Uh, we've got 23 babies. So that's where the jobs have gone. And then we've got 171 bucks. No jobs, vacancies, and we've got 29 bots doing absolutely nothing. So we need to get them doing something. So the question is, how do we employ the bots? I mean, we could go for more terraformers up here because we are lacking terraformers and it takes forever to do anything um, for some reason. Uh, I don't know if it's a lack of debt, though. I think, yeah, it is. It's a lack of debt. So what we're going to do is going to change you to be all of them and you are going to be all of them as well. So that means we need 16 bots because they work 24-7. So let's go to central. We need uh, 74 bots. Bosh. We can fill that straight away. So they're going to work 24 hours a day now. So sending crap up there, which is great, as well as they get the catalyst bonus, which means they are grandioso. Um, but yeah, we have actually, so if you look at these, 35 is our well-being just in this area alone. Oh, I apologize. Uh, and yeah, that's mainly to do with, we got all the tributes, labor monuments, we got all the different types of food uh, in the middle. They, to be honest, the food is probably the best one to go for um, because it's very easy to produce, like, but you do get substantial uh, like bonuses for each types of food that you get. Uh, campfire rooftop terraces are okay but again not amazing we're not really giving our beavers enough time to basically do them either so kind of irrelevant um we do need to move these campfires as well over to here i know where to put them as so i'm going to put them down the side so we need to move them which we can do now um but yeah food's the best one bee stings they're still getting stung a little bit because they are working the fields um for the most part but that's not a big deal and then wet fair the problem with the wet fair is we have got enough showers, just they need to go and take a shower and stop being smelly beavers. But yeah, right. Well-being. Campfires. Uh, we have spaces here. So I'm tempted to put a one there. One there. Uh, yeah. There, two there. Cool. I don't know if we can. Yeah, we can. Boom. Fit them in there as well. There we go. 
because they'll all light up as well and i think they'll look pretty cool as well as all this all lights up so it all looks pretty cool and then they get the aura by sitting in them and stuff like that and yeah all good all good so you get the aura off this then they get the aura off this and then they get the aura off this and just yep yeah, yeah, it's all good so get them done should be pretty quick i would imagine can't imagine not being quick we got loads of workouts uh, we got the two uh, hauling posts, which are completely full. Um, we can technically fill that with more beavers. Um, well, robot beavers. And yeah, we had to get more of the these, whatever they're called, lumber mills, because we were running low on planks massively. But that is not really a problem anymore. We've got 1.9k. Uh, that is completely full. So we are stopping there. Gears... We are a little bit nah, half full, not horrendously bad. Uh, biofuel is low though. Biofuel, we've got loads of catalysts, but we've got no biofuel. Where the hell's biofuel? Ah, biofuel. I could just do this. Uh, hmm. Are you getting biofuel? They are sending the biofuel. They are working all day long, so. I'm not entirely sure why the biofuel is a bit slow. Uh, metal we don't really need metal scrap metal is getting basically backlogged everywhere because that's full that's full that's not full of scrap metal to be fair and that one is full of scrap metal that one's not full but for some reason they just decided not to send the scrap metal um i have no idea why but they're deciding not to send it even though this has scrap metal to be sent and this doesn't but it says all the other stuff so they're now running both of them. Uh, one's bots, one's beavers. So yeah, the important stuff is bots, basically. That's the important stuff, in my opinion. We've got two of these now. So we should be able to get a lot of this done pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, which is a good thing, because everything takes forever. Uh, okay. But yeah, this video is just going to be a update video of what I've done, what I've expanded into. And then the next video, uh, we're going to try and lay out um, this farm area. I don't know whether to put a new district in because I, I, I don't really want these working on this. I don't know, though. Uh, can we get that expanded out there? And then you might finish that job as well. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, do that. Uh, yeah, I might put a new district in. Maybe, oh, I don't know, I might put it there maybe. Somewhere around here and then see if we can like reach this down here. And we can damn it. Hmm. We also need to get into this area. Turn all of this green. I'm not really bothered about turning the whole map green. Just trying to think of ideas of what to do next. We might have to plan out. We need a new district up here for certain. Because we need to plan out our stupid mega waterfall damn thing. Um, which is going to be amazing. Might I say. Uh, so we'll blow that up. Boom, boom, boom. And then we'll get that more dynamite please. Yes please thank you. Okay. Well this is going swimmingly. Uh, in fact, probably best just blowing the whole of this mountain top off and then getting it down at least to the at least to this level, I would imagine. Yeah, that'd be best. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, blow you up. You're a single, blow up. Uh well can we can, can we not reach the can, can, come on. Come on, Beavers. Reach the places. Thank you. Um, can we just potentially do, 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 do. I'm just thinking and just blow it up screw it blow it up okay that needs to come down one more level that's the inside part of the dam we don't need to get rid of that path because that's going to be the path that's going to be the damn wall not an issue so we need to uh, if we go to blue 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 you then we need to figure out this bit over here. So that's going to come down there. Goodbye. And then we're going to come out there. 
So this needs to go that way. Boom, boom, boom. At least free high. Like so. One more. Like that. And then I think what we're going to do, I'm going to blow that up. Then we can start planning this out now because we've got the room. Thank God. Okay, so that is going to come to about here. Uh, yeah, yeah, like that. Uh, oh, God. Did that do... Uh, I am such an idiot. No. Line up with that path, you bloody idiot. Get rid of that. L literally blown that up for this reason. Right, so you're going to come about there. Okay, go there. Then we're going to go in for the triple floodgates. Okay, we'll go boom, boom, boom. We need to take them out. We have four triple floodgates. Now we need six. I could just off... No, no, no. We're going to go for six. Which means we need to get rid of... Get rid of... Should we go for seven or eight? I might go... Could do eight. Do eight? Yeah, we'll do eight. We'll do eight. Go big or go home, as they say. So do eight of them. Uh, we need to blow that out. Okay, don't know why I paused. Must have clicked it by mistake. Okay, boom. Can we get a set of stairs up there then? That would be very convenient. And then just get that running across there. Where is my district friction? Should be able to get up there. Not a problem. There is that one done. Okay. We are doing swimmingly. Can, if we get there, so the floodgates are going to get done there. And my fish tank is blowing bubbles at me for some reason. There's some very strange noises coming out of my fish tank. It's very strange. I haven't even got fish in it yet. Very peculiar. Very, very peculiar. Anyway, right, what have we got? So they're building that, blah, 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 blah. I kind of want to show you what I'm planning. So my plan is, right, I just, just, plan is, right, I'm going to rip out all of these levees. It's going to take a lot. Then I'm going to go up, basically. Let's get the, get, get this. I'm going to go up like this. As high as I can get bloody well take it like how high can we take it there we go so we're at our max so we need to come one down from our max boom 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 right so we're one down from our max that's how high this is going to be and that's going to basically be in between uh this bit whoop, this wall here I don't think I'm going to take them out. I'm going to do it between this wall. So that one I need to come out and that one I need to come out. Then we're going to go straight down to about... Um, about uh, It's not going to be humongous. So let's say about there. doesn't really matter which direction this goes in because we can change it eventually. So that's going to come to about here. And then obviously there. And then come down, you know, you get the gist. It's going to come there. Like, it's going to be in that little gap. So it's not going to be huge, but it's going to be... And then I'm going to build it all up. So that's going to get filled in. It's probably not the right way to do it there, but whatever. Okay. And then, so we're going to fill all of that in to the highest point, basically. Like this. So if we keep it going, keep it going. Where's that? 
Keep it going. And basically, what will happen is, we're going to keep going all the way to the top. You get the gist. And then what will happen is, the water will come there. We'll have nowhere to go. So it'll start filling up, filling up, filling up, all the way to the top. And then there's going to be a free tile deep. Once again, three tiles deep at the top of this thing. So we can't go all the way to the top because then we need, to be honest, that's probably high enough. We look at that. Yeah, we can go a little bit more, maybe one more. So if we do this like that. Then we're going to have to then get triple floodgates and we're going to get all the way across, basically like that. They're going to get set to 2.5, maybe a little bit more. But probably 2.5 and then so obviously the water is then going to fill up it'll fall into them and then it'll fall down cascade into this area here which this area here is going to be a big pool of a different level so the idea is, is i'm going to get i'm going to get two uh it's going to be a longer one that then is going to separately feed into this one and separately feed over here into the weird freaking reservoir lock weird system that I've got over here. So essentially it'll look something like this. So if we go for, I don't know, if we just do this again, it doesn't really matter. So that'll go all the way to Easy to delete stuff, not so much easy to add stuff. So that's going to go all the way to there. No, it's not. That's a lie. I lied. I apologize. So that's going to go one, two, three, three down. We'll get rid of that. Okay, that's going to be three deep there again. And then once again, triple four gates. This is going to be bigger again. And then another triple four gate. So it's going to cascade down into that store there cascade down again and then we're going to go down again and then basically that's eventually going to go to a big long wide pool which probably will be here because that's where the path lines up perfectly so probably be there and then that's when the water then will then get separated into its two directions uh, with probably a floodgates in the middle so that they don't interact with each other too much so i'll have to figure out some stupid weird canal system to feed both sides and yeah it's going to be pretty weird uh so yeah that'll be a giant pool of which then they'll then feed into these so that is basically what's going to happen so it's going to get this sort of weird sort of weird effect uh, the reason for that is prevention of evaporation of water so we've got more water stored on the map that we can release at any time uh, and secondly, I am going to get rid of all that because that's going to confuse the freaking hell out of me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I just please say I didn't delete the freaking wall? Oh, thank God. Okay, go. Jesus Christ, thank God. I thought I deleted the freaking wall. Um. Uh, so, yeah. So, that is my reasoning behind it. Prevention of evaporation on the map because it's going to evaporate to be honest there's not really too much of a of an issue with this map just because we're not playing on hard mode and we are on easy and the longest drought we can get is only nine days uh, and nine days is pretty darn easy to survive so again not really the end of the world um but i personally honestly kind of want to do it because it looks cool yep looks pretty darn cool not gonna lie. I blow all that up because that needs going. You need to get blown up. Do 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 like so. You need to go as well. You can go because we can now reach all of this. Boom. Do all of your and you and you and you do all of it. Thank you very much, good lady and sir. Do that. Do that for now. Uh, we should be good. Okay, well, that is the planning episode complete. I hope everything makes sense. I hope everything you've seen so far is kind of interesting. I hope everything uh, is kind of somewhat inspiring to do yourself. And uh, let's look forward to the next one, which we will start 
the mega dam project or the mega waterfall or whatever the hell we're going to call it project i'll see you then bye bye for now